You may have heard about the increasing publicity regarding Mediterranean diets and how they may help lower the incidence of cancer. But is this true? How much of a role can the Mediterranean diet help with reducing cancer incidence? Today, we will be exploring all that and more at the Demystifying Medicine channel. The significance of the Mediterranean diet was first identified in the 1950s through a study called the Seven Countries Study, conducted by Ansel Keys. He gathered researchers from all over the world to investigate their country's diet and lifestyle and identify risk factors for cardiovascular disease. The seven countries were the US, Finland, Netherlands, Italy, Greece, Yugoslavia, and Japan. Interestingly, People who were on a Mediterranean diet from Italy and parts of Greece had one of the lowest chances of developing cardiovascular disease. Later on, another study measured the risk of developing cancer in two groups of people, the ones that were on the Mediterranean diet and the ones that weren't, and found that cancer incidence was lower in the Mediterranean diet group, suggesting that the Mediterranean diet may protect individuals from developing cancer. For the purposes of this video, we will only be focusing on the incidence or development of cancer in relation to the Mediterranean diet. We will not be discussing the effects of this diet on individuals who may already have cancer, as there are varying studies on this matter. First off, what are the components in the Mediterranean diet? While they may vary, the main ingredients are olive oil, legumes and fruits, fish, whole grains, moderate amounts of alcohol such as red wine, and low amounts of meat. Many of these components have been shown in studies to have beneficial effects to your health. For example, legumes and fruits are high in flavonoids that act as antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, and anti-proliferative agents, which are all helpful for healthy aging. Another compound commonly found in legumes, called apigenin, has been found to make cancer cells mortal and die off helping prevent the onset of cancer. Moderate wine consumption has been linked to improve health as it contains resveratrol, a compound found in grape skins that has been shown to kill damaged cells. So should we switch to a Mediterranean diet? Well, several studies have shown that adhering to this diet has a 10-20% to reduction in cancer incidence. However, is this number significant? While diet plays an important role in our lives, other lifestyle changes are also important. For example, in a 10-year study which looked at over 2,000 participants and various lifestyle factors such as the Mediterranean diet, non-smoking, physical activity, and moderate alcohol consumption, the Mediterranean diet played the smallest role as it only lowered cancer incidence by 10%. Moreover, non-smoking, physical activity, and moderate alcohol consumption lowered cancer risk by 20-50%. to 50%. So making sure to avoid tobacco use, seeking regular medical care, and maintaining a healthy weight and being physically active takes precedence. Only when you are meeting most of these lifestyle changes should you consider the additional benefit of a Mediterranean diet. Thank you for watching this video, and please like, comment, and subscribe to the Demystifying Medicine channel. We hope you found this information useful.